Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. So, obviously, you saw the new intro. Hopefully you love it. I am I really like it. I did it. I think I did a decent job with this one, actually, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, I love doing intros for some reason. I don't know why. Just, they're fun to me. But, you know, I figured, since that's why I asked everyone on Twitter if you guys wanted me to do a review of Nako Days, because it's kind of wanted to show that early instead of tomorrow. But anyways, guys and girls, I bring you a review today of Nyanko Days, which is probably the cutest thing I've ever fucking seen in my life, just hands down. I mean... I I adore this show just because of how cute it is. It's like watching literal candy on screen and the images on screen are then filling your soul with all the sweetness of candy. Th there is no endless amount of candy that you can't have with this show. I mean, like, this show is just so cute and it's so adorable and it's not trying to be anything beyond that. This doesn't have a huge story. This doesn't have a huge concept. I mean, the whole premise is that we have Yuko Kona guy who is this young girl who has three cat girls but the cat girls are little tiny chibi cat girls They're not like huge fully sexualized cat girls no it's it's little chibi cat girls that act like cats but at the same time have human personalities like one likes to read another one loves to play another one's very shy around people but loves to be around our master when she can be you know they're very reminiscent of cats and that's what the show is going off of is like these these are cats but with human personalities um, and the whole concept of this, though, is that it's these little short stories that have, you know, little moments of cuteness behind them. They really like, there's no overarching story, there's no plot to it, there's no anything. It's just, you know, the girl with her cat girls, and, you know, her life also decide of how her life has to be in school, etc. You know, you don't care about that, though. All you're going to care about on screen is the little cat girls. I mean, that's all I care about. Like, these things are so adorable. I want plushies of these things. If there are plushies of them, please put in the comments below. Links to these plushies. I will buy these things. I, I will buy them in a heartbeat because they're cuteness. Pure cuteness. Anyways, though, get back to the review stuff. So, music wise, there isn't very much music here to be used. Um, we do have a slight closing song, which happens after like the one minute mark of the show or a little round of one minute, like 20 seconds usually. Um, it's a very cute closing song. I actually like you can watch it all the time and not really get tired of it. Uh, besides that, though, there's no really OST to be you know explored in the show. Um, Voice acting wise, everyone's really good for what they do. All the cat girls are very cute. They sound legit like little cat girls. It's kind of cute. I give credit to the voice actresses who did that. Um, and in terms of, like you like said, the story, like there's no story. Animation though is really cute. Like I mean, beyond the cute word, and I'm you guys should have like a, a I should have a counter somewhere of how many times I said the word cute in this review. But out of the animation, the animation is done very well. It's very pop color wise. It's like, you know, these colors explode in your face because they're trying to really convey how pretty everything is, how, you know, how cute everything is. So that's like the whole premise of this. Uh, but in terms of anything, you know, Nyanko Days, each episode, there's 12 episodes, two minutes long each. Literally, it's, you know, 24 minutes long. Like the whole show is 24 minutes long. That to me is crazy. But, you know, if you remove the, the actual closing song, it's probably like 20 minutes, maybe like 19 minutes around that. But um, you're going to enjoy it just for the hell of it. Like, it's one of those shows you watch just because it's like, why not? It's two minutes of my life that I can watch and just enjoy some cute stuff on screen. Um, if I had to review this a through, between A through F, I have to give it a B minus. I mean, you know, there's no story. There's no real concept behind it. I wish the episodes were longer. Probably one of my biggest complaints about the show. Like, two minutes is a little ridiculous on my part. But even Banyan Yan was longer than two minutes, to be, just if you think about it. But it's it's... Cat girls that are little tiny chibis that plushies. Come on, people, plushies. Tell me where I can buy some plushies of these things. I will put them up on my wall somewhere. I will put. I, will, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'll put them somewhere so you can see them. Be like, oh look how cute they are. Be jealous and envious. Can't, these things are cute and adorable. This whole show is cute and adorable. Um, but you know what you're getting into with it. You know this, this is that type of show like that. It's not really gonna be anything complex or super you know, important to watch it. You don't need to watch the show. If you really love cute stuff, you're going to watch it anyways. If you don't, then you'd probably be better not watching this because, again, it's all cuteness. But, um, yeah, that's it for the review. I have nothing else really to say about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed I really kind of, just like I said, I did this more just to show you guys my new intro. Um, I do have to fix one thing about the intro. It's going to be that the text goes to screen a little longer. I noticed that now, unfortunately, but I'll fix that later. Um, so hopefully with the next reviews I use that, you know, I'm still going to be swipping, switching between all my, my my intros because I like doing that to keep it kind of different. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave in the comments what your thoughts on the intro if you see it. Tell me what you think of it. You know, do you love it? Do you like it? Hate it? Etc. Uh, also, also, I will have probably, I think either the anime talk come back tomorrow or another advice corner. I'm not sure yet which one it is, but it's going to be one of those two. No review tomorrow. 
But I hope you guys, anyways, have a great night. As always, until I pass crossing in the next review, have a blessed night, everyone. Sleep well. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.